So you're looking forward to Christmas, then? <laughs> She's not bad, that Claudia, is she? OK. What have you heard? Nothing. I was just saying. Why is there something to know? I'm glad you could make it. <laughs> Anything to escape the surgery. Well, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> so how are you finding it up here, then, Claudia? Yeah, fine, thanks. Can't say I'd fancy sharing a breakfast table with Chris Tate. I couldn't possibly comment. Mind you, I wouldn't say no to a view of Zoe first thing. Or yourself. Your wife deserted you, has she? <laughs> She's chatting to one of my drivers. We're neither of us the possessive sort. I see. But maybe he's not the only one around here. Take your hand off me. <sighs> Claudia, you've been giving me the come on for weeks. Rubbish. Just because I work for you does not give you the right to grope me. Or anything else. Got it? Oh, you've gone too far. In fact, too far for me to carry on working here. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means, Chris, I'm resigning. It was just a bit of fun. It's Christmas. Have you any idea what this means? Mm. You heard yourself, she's resigning. So what? Nanny's a tenner penny. That is not the point. That is not the way you treat people. How dare you? Don't all your glasses need filling up or something? Hey! What do you think you were doing, Chris? Stay out of this woods, unless you want to join the dog here. Just cos she works for you, don't make her your property. Thank you, Terry. I'm dealing with this. He's just jealous, cos he hasn't got the guts to make a move on her himself. <laughs> Say that again. Terry, I think you'd be better off leaving it. Claudia is indispensable. Oh, come off it, Zoe. She's only been here a few months. Yes. And look at what she's had to go through. A new house, her boss being kidnapped, having to lie to the police. Not to mention the stability she's provided for Joseph. It is not my fault if she can't take a joke. There was nothing funny about it, Chris. And now, thanks to you, she's leaving. Well, I'm not having it. I'm going to talk to her before she disappears. And you can start thinking about how you're going to apologise to her. Claudia, I really don't know what to say. It's not your fault. No, but he is my brother and he's embarrassed both of us. I really don't want you to go. Since Joseph lost his mother, you've spent more time with him than anyone. I won't let Chris take you away from him. I can't work with a man who behaves like that. He's very sorry. Is he? Yeah, he is, and I make damn sure he apologises. Claudia, please reconsider. You're important to me as well as Joseph. You were the only person I could talk to when Chris was kidnapped, and you've become a good and important friend. Look, I don't want to go. I love this job, and I love Joseph, but... Chris has got to be made to realise that just because I'm a single woman doesn't give him the right to treat me any way he likes. Certainly not in that way. So, will you stay? It all depends how good his apology is. Gloria, I'm... Truly sorry, I behaved appallingly. There's no way I can justify my actions. I'd had too much to drink and took advantage. I realise that I jeopardised the future of your working relationship with us, and for that I am truly ashamed. Please accept my apologies. Apology accepted. Only Chris. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Well said. I had no choice, did I? I didn't mean your apology. I meant Claudia's acceptance speech. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got guests. <laughs> 